while you're here, supposing the Nigerian government invites you to the meeting to say, hey, let's talk about why you're here, uh, would you be willing to meet with them? Of course, I'd meet with anybody interested in the rule of law. And I, it's, this is not about vengeance. No, justice really is international. And everybody recognizes the right you know, self-determination, the due process, it's universally condemned, torture is, extrajudicial killing. And uh, you know, would sit down and say, listen, I have an expertise in constitutional law. The best rule. And, and it seems very odd to me from the United States that Nigeria lives under a constitution ordained by a military dictator in 1999 with no input from the public. Mm -hmm. It is no referendum, nothing. And you're still living under this, you know, 22 years later? To me, it seems utterly absurd. How does that document have legitimacy? How do you give legitimacy to a legal instrument so that it'll be complied with, rather than just manipulated, you know, to benefit those who have the power? Uh, but I, I'm always someone who believes in uh, Winston Churchill, better to jaw jaw than war war, sit down. Uh, we, we have a very um, uh, professional uh, conversation. We, you know, what are the issues? How are we going to address them? Um, you know, they have ideas. I'm not claiming I'm omniscient. Uh, people can learn from one another, but that's the way, that really is the heart and soul of, of civilized governance. Communicate, discourse, listen. Nobody should believe that, that uh, they might not be wrong. I could be wrong, they could be wrong. That's why we need to talk it out and see whether we can come to some consensus as to at least the optimal way to, to deal with the inevitable differences between people. So, you know, apart from Namdi Canada, a lot of uh, Yafan activists or militants of the Nigerian government most of them refer to who are detained all over. You know, are you doing anything to help with the situation as well in an international 